As you schedule your classes for the spring and beyond, you have options in how your courses are experienced. Beyond the traditional face-to-face -face classes we are all used to, there are four additional options that you may not be familiar with. Two of those four are experienced completely online and are coded as IIE and IIS. While both of these options are online only, there is a key difference that is important to know. One of these options has synchronous class sessions that require you to be present in some form of scheduled yet virtual class meetings. And the other is asynchronous, meaning that you do not meet for live lectures or engagement. For your learning style, both online options might have advantages and drawbacks. Let's start with the one that does require some form of live virtual class times. Here at Wichita State University, we code this type of online course as IIS. IIS stands for Internet Instruction Synchronous and is an online course where attendance is required for synchronous virtual class meetings. This means that while some of your course engagement might be autonomous and self-managed, there will be times when you meet as a class online and live. This might be in the form of weekly lectures, student presentations in class discourse, or even virtual labs. How these are crafted by your instructor could be exceptionally innovative. Engaging in course content at the same time, even if it's virtual, might feel familiar, maybe even comforting, as traditional in-person classes meet in real time. This type of class might be a good fit for you if you are a first-year student or maybe new to Wichita State University and perhaps still learning how college works, or respond best to live lectures rather than on-demand lectures, or maybe thrive on the social elements that a class which meets live can provide. Those are all great, but an online and synchronous class might also have some downside you should consider, such as committing to meeting online live might be a challenge if meeting times interfere with your home schedules. And live virtual class meetings might require you to not only be present, but engaged, meaning there will be expectations around your digital tools, but also your online availability. Your other online course option is an IIE course. IIE is the code for an online course where all instruction and engagement is designed by the instructor to be automated. This means that you self-manage your online engagement. You study, learn, and demonstrate learning on a time frame that is very flexible and up to you to manage on a weekly basis. While you learn at your own pace and on your own schedule, you will likely see benchmarks in the semester. Some of these benchmarks might be scheduled quizzes, project or assignment deadlines, or dated discussion forums. However, the time management of meeting these benchmarks is largely in your hands. This type of course is great if you are self-disciplined and comfortable with time management, need to have flexibility in your schedule, and respond well and enjoy a self-paced learning environment. Challenges you might consider, however, are that interaction between you and your peers might be limited, and the spontaneity of learning moments available in a live class environment might not be as readily experienced as you might like. The final two types of courses available outside of our traditional in-classroom instruction are classes where there are both online and on-campus requirements. These are the HYB and the HYO coded courses, and these might be a bit more familiar to you. HYB courses are those courses that are considered a hybrid course. In this type of class environment, you will have both in-classroom engagement and online engagement. One example might be where you attend weekly in-person lectures, but are required to go online to complete and submit assignments and perhaps complete your quizzes. The other course type is coded HYO. An HYO course is your traditional online course. It is asynchronous, so your course time is self-managed and online. However, with an HYO course, you are required to come onto campus to complete your exams. Hopefully this sheds a bit of light on your options as you move into the new year. Remember Shockers, times might be challenging right now, but you still have your future to think of. So stay brave, stay informed, and know that your future counts. Shocker Nation, Shocker Strong.